28 anglers. Awesome! 14 boats. Yes! Nine nations. No way! Six days. <laughs> one target fish. That was a monster. And one trophy. YPC Bass 2023 is brought to you by Bay Eins Boat Center. We build your boat. Hardy Rise, feel the difference. And Lure Drop, Christmas every month. Hello everyone, and welcome to the seventh episode of the YPC Bass 2023. Today and Sunday we will show you the final day of Group B. After this episode, we'll know which teams from this group will move on to the semifinals and join Abu Garcia, Zek, 13 Fishing and Redfin. Before we dive right in, let's take a brief look at the standings. Team LMAB have shown quite a convincing performance. After day one, they're leading the table with a total score of 9.94 kilos. Just a few grams behind, however, is Molex. Being the only two teams with a full card so far, for them it's mostly about improving all of their fish that still have a zero in front of the decimal point. The third place is currently held by Team Savage Gear. Tony and Mirko were not exactly pleased with their performance on day one, but that's maybe because they were so focused on their own fishing that they didn't pay much attention to how the other teams were doing. In fact, an overall weight of 6.67 kilos does not look too bad, and only two fish are missing to complete the card. Team Bay Eins Boat Center is the only team that has not yet caught the two needed topwater fish. For the moment, however, a decent total score of 6.49 kilograms. It's enough for them to occupy the last of the four qualifying spots. However, Team Stroft are making plans of their own to break into the top four. After some initial difficulties, Sebastian really turned up the heat with a good-sized topwater bass and a 1.6 kilogram lunker to raise the overall score to a respectable 5.78 kilograms. One spot behind them now is Hardy Rise. Johan caught the biggest bass in Group B with 1.97 kilos, but their other ones were unfortunately not as large. Still, the gap between them and the teams in front of them can easily be breached with only one good fish. Same goes for Team Elex, although day one has been a roller coaster ride for them. After being on top after the first few hours of fishing, in the afternoon the reigning champions couldn't significantly improve their board and proceeded to steadily fall down the rankings, ending the day in the very undesired last spot. It will be interesting to see how they will handle the intense pressure. Unlike the first day, the second day of fishing begins shortly after sunrise. Let's see if we get some early morning action. Welcome back to YPC Bass episode 3. Team Olex is on the spot. We start exactly where we end the last episode in the evening. So Paolo caught there a big one and we lost two better fish as well. So this is a deep weedy area where the, the, the grass is standing really high. It's 7 meters, 7 meters deep but the grass is upcoming until I think 5, maybe 4 meters and the bass standing in and coming out and then I think they will grab our popper again. Yeah, we will start with popper to make some noise on the surface and let's see if some big mama want to you know, kill our bait and uh, yeah, and then we will move. Yeah. Uh, Today is the goal to upgrade minimum four bass over a kilo. So we have a good bag yesterday. We don't expect it to be honest, <laughs> but uh, it was, uh, we're sitting in second place, but we need to definitely improve the fish, I think at least four. If we can do that, I think we are able to make the next round and maybe we maybe we try to find some new spots for the next rounds yeah. when we are able to catch the four ones. But at first, let's catch one. Yeah, <laughs> so buddy, give me high five. Okay, good yeah. luck. Good luck, man. So, first cast, day two. Et voila!
Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's day two of the YPC Bass 2023. Yesterday, we was a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, but at the end, we noted that we ended up in uh, third place. That was quite okay, because everybody was not catching so well as we thought. Today, we are focusing on catching big fish. That's our main target. And uh, we arrived on the first spot, a totally different area than yesterday. And uh, we will hammer many, many spots today. So, come on, buddy. Come on, let's catch some big fish. Buongiorno from the Hilex Gunky Boat. We are at the starting of our second day and we hope we can do better than the previous one. It's not going to be hard as we did a so bad job that today we can do better. I can tell you. We will do better. Yeah, we have to do better. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's try to do this. <laughs> Small, 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 small. Wow, but he really took it. <laughs> First fish. Not sizable, but there's some action. Hello again. Hi, guys. We are ready to go? Yeah, everything is possible today. Yeah, everything is possible. Everything. Uh, I think it's no problem to go to the semi finals, even for the guys on the last place today. We start today in the morning. Uh, an area we fished in the practice day days and yesterday as well. Uh, I will start topwater fishing. I will start crankbait fishing with the Evolution Artirize. Not too strong. Yeah. So here we go, guys. Let's go. Choose my Bonjourni. Now the second day it's starting. We fish at the same place where we start yesterday and we hope we catch it's the, the biggest the biggest one here the first hours in the morning is the best for fishing it's a great day today it's uh, it's warm in the next in the next two hours so concentrated of the first hours on the day is spinning never change the system slowly slowly fishing it's finesse very thin lines Niklas and Frank start their day quite relaxed. The adrenaline level on Team Stroff's boat, however, is already shooting up. Ah, oh, während ich angezogen habe, hat er attackiert. Hey. Yeah. Fish. It's a good fish. Yeah, yes, seems to be. Yes. But it's stuck in the wheat. Should we follow him? Yeah. Oh man, I'm a little bit afraid to lo lose it. Just keep tension, don't over rush it. Keep him as high as possible. It is completely yeah, yeah. in the wheat. Wi There's the gap, pull him right up. I can't. Oh. It completely stuck. No, 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 no. We need to see him first. He's can you see there. him? Oh, he's down there. Now you can do it. I can see the bait. I can see the bait. Oh, no! <laughs> we lost it. <laughs> Happens. Next fish. Come on. <sighs> so the bass got stuck in the weeds and when we tried to pull him out, he got un unhooked. And uh, Damn. the fish just blew by the landing net, was not able to get him. But the fish are active this morning. Let's hope we get another bite. As we do not have time in the afternoon, we want to focus in the morning to get topwater fish. And um, this is what we're doing right now. We're fishing a, a shallow area where we uh, try to target them with small poppers again, like we did yesterday. And um, yeah, let's see, fish this couple, fish this spot for a couple of hours and uh, then move forward for some power fishing. So we had a solid start yesterday. We're actually leading after the first day, but everything is extremely close. I think if we got managed to get three or four fish above one kilo, that would then give Give me a feeling that we should be going through. 
but we definitely need three or four fish above a kilo. That'll be the target today. We're going to be trying out a few different spots as well, which is always a little bit risky, of course, but you want to also learn for the rest of the tournament. I'm starting off with top water straight away. I know we have our top water fish. However, top water is generally a good technique to catch them at this time of the day, the same as late in the evenings. And often the top water fish are, are the better fish. When you get one to hook, the smaller ones don't hook so easily. But when you get a bigger one biting, then, then they do hook a bit more easily. And generally those are then also proper, proper fish that, you, that are going to help us to get to the weight we're looking for. We're sitting on 10 kilos, 9,94 after the first day. And we're targeting anywhere above 12 kilos for the first round. That should, that should get us through. As could be expected, most teams have at least one angler using topwater lures during the first hour after sunrise. But even though the bass are coming up, some still search for prey a few feet below the surface. Fish on. Okay. Get away, get away. <sighs> Keeper. Yeah. Maybe. Keeper. Maybe yes. Maybe, maybe yes. Six. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> You're my mate. Perfect. The first keeper of the day moves Hardy Rise up a spot and maybe the go ahead for the other Bolsena bass to hunt a little more ambitiously. Too small? Yeah. My one. It's bigger, I guess. Is this better? What's actually the smallest fish we have? Do you know? I'm not sure. That's not really going to help at this stage, but a nice, nice fish on top water. <laughs> cool. Rather. I, I don't think they help, huh? 0.67. Okay. 0.61. Nice. Two brothers. Let's put this one back and see if we can find bigger ones. It's always a good sign to be seeing some fish straight away when they're biting. I'm always a bit worried about the size when, when you catch a few around the same size, often the ones around them are also a similar size. But we also saw yesterday, Chris caught a few around like 0 0.6 and then suddenly a couple over a kilo came. So it's not, all, it's not always like that. I just actually need to check what our smallest fish is, not very well prepared, um, to see if that 0 0.67 helps. Maybe it does. Daniel is right to check the score carefully because this fish helps indeed. Not by much, but in the end, every hundredth of a kilo might make the difference between advancing or being eliminated. Aside from the few catches we've just seen, however, the early morning has not brought the success most teams expected. Time to adjust the strategy a little. I changed now a bit my technique and uh, I want to try a bit deeper with a spinnerbait. It is actually not the perfect spinnerbait weather, so it is uh, quite calm on the surface, <laughs> no wind. But maybe you remember from last year, I love to fish the spinnerbaits with the double Colorado blades, so with the round big ones. They're making a lot of pressure. And especially when it's windy, the fish love this action normally. But now it is not windy and I will go now with the willows. So the, the um, spinnerbait will not make that much pressure. It's small, little flashing and it's not like that aggressive um, uh, when you have the willows and not the coloradas on. So I will try this one. 10 gram spinnerbait, small one. Hopefully I can catch one who like to <laughs> grab this small thing. Exklusive Sonderfarben, brandheiße Neuheiten, teilweise schon vor der Markteinführung, erprobte Klassiker, passendes Zubehör, wertvolle Expertentipps, Anwendungsempfehlungen per Flyer und Video, eine Chance auf den Monatsjackpot, nützliche Goodies und einen riesigen Preisvorteil. All das gibt es per Luredrop Abo monatlich zu dir nach Hause geliefert. Check www.luredrop.de und werde auch du ein glücklicher Luredropper. Luredrop. Christmas every month. 
Shimano hat die innovative Flashboost-Technologie entwickelt. Ob in Aktion oder bei einem Spinstop, es werden permanent Lichtreflexionen ausgesendet. Eine durch Federn im Kunstköder fixierte Spiegelfolie vibriert und erzeugt dabei diffuse Reflexionen. Selbst wenn sich der Hardbait nicht bewegt, vibriert die Spiegelfolie weiter und blitzt auf. Sie haucht dem Köder Leben ein und triggert Raubfische zum Anbiss. Das ist Flashboost. The sun is up right now and the activity on the surface is even going down. So we have to decide what we do. Maybe we go a bit deeper, try some uh, grass in the deep areas uh, with the drop shot or even with the walkie rig. There's still some fish on the surface and yeah, maybe we have a chance for one. So let's keep casting and hoping that we see a fish soon. Of course, a good fish soon. <laughs> okay, now we start with the power. We hope so, we found a lot of fishes and we need the big one, 1.5 or 1.6. We hope so. Now we start. We have the uh, live scope system in forward modus and we look at before and we have one transducer on the engine yeah it's a 34 lvs and we have the newest uh, xs 62 also we learned it on the training a few days last few days and we have spots on the active captain app and we drive with the line on the spots it's a new live scope 62 for two people it's it's more fun <laughs> for more fun and to catch the biggest one Normally, <laughs> you test it. <laughs> that is quite a little bit too quiet here. Yeah? Quite a little bit too quiet. Yeah, isn't that right? Well, we just saw one busting over there, so. Yeah, but one. Yesterday there were a lot of. It would have been so good to catch this biggie. Of course. But that's fishing. I'm so sad about it. I can't even tell you. <laughs> But that is fishing. Yeah, this is fishing in the weeds, huh? Love it. Yeah. But this is a fucking struggle you have. If they get stuck, you are fucked. This <laughs> <laughs> smell like a garlic. Yeah, that's the yeah. bad smelling weed. Not bad smelling, but that's a no, smelling not bad weed, smelling. Yeah. That's like garlic. You want to taste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to taste. <laughs> <laughs> Now we still crankbaiting. Do crankbait because uh, Johan caught some fish with this technique. In the moment, I use the Red Shadow cranking fiberglass. That's a um, rod developed for crankbait fishing. It's a soft tip and it's perfect for crankbaits. And I love this rod for spinner baits and uh, chatter baits as well. Uh, good casting range, nice, not too heavy. Take a look at it at your local dealer. All right, from smelly weed and local dealers, let's move on to a team that has been searching for a high for quite some time now. Well, second spot didn't deliver any keepers again. It's starting quite tough for us, uh, so we do really spot hopping today. Just see quickly if there's some activity from some, some bigger fish. If not, we're going to change spot. Uh, we run through an area where there's still some chop on the water, there's, there's still some wind and we hope this is going to give some activity to the fish and will bring us finally the sixth keeper. We really need to step up. There's some work to do today. 
Let's go. Let's go. Was on, was on the bait. Was on the f***ing bait. Was f***ing bait. Was on the bait, man. Yeah. Why did he grab? I don't know. There was a big one, a really big one. Poof, was on my bait, and at the at the, at the end, poof, skip it. Fucker. <laughs> was really big. It was a good fish. Poof, my leg is shaking now. This is a bumbo bus! <laughs> oh man! <sighs> oh, it's what we deserve! Oh yes! Take your fish, my brother! <laughs> I think you do on the one you saw. <sighs> I think we measure him quick. <sighs> They're air A shad. They did, Dude, again. did the job again. 1.63. I thought it's bigger. Yeah, no. Yes! It's exactly what we need. And the RA shot do the job again. Oh, pretty good. Bye bye and thank you. Yes, man. Oh, oh now I'm relaxed. Uh, that was a really important fish. Good. A boom ba bass. Sounds about right. With this 1.63 lunker, Molex takes the lead and now has a total score of 10.76 which would have already been enough in Group A to secure a spot in the semi-finals. With that in mind, Paolo and Lucas can now continue fishing with substantially less pressure. Lucas even finds time to explain his setup. For the Arash head in 3.8 inch, I'm using the OMTD OH1500, so that's in the 2.0 size, and the hook have 1.5 grams of weight, tungsten weight on the, on the shank. So with that small weight, we are able to get the, the soft swim bait a little bit more stable, but we don't reach really depth, so it's perfect for that shallow areas here. I use here the color gold Ayu, so it looks pretty nice like a, like a small bait fish. And uh, I just take the screw of the hook, screw it in the bait, like this and then just take the hook in, let it come out on top. I don't stick the hook again into the plastic for the reason that I lost three fish now in a row with that bait. Um, so I will let the hook out that uh, I can hook the fish better and the, the, the weed will not tangle on the hook. So let's try. So we start our power hour right now because um, Mirko said that you have a good feeling with the power hour in this, um, in this whole area because there's deep and single weed beds and um, we try to find them and uh, maybe see the fish inside and can fish with the plastic worm or with the Texas rig exactly to the fish. So it starts right now. So we are in the next spot for topwater fishing. Thanks for Benedict. This is a custom lure with a custom boat, custom lure. It's a perfect team. And this is a work for the last two days. No, no, it's a 100 spots here. Also, it's all time. It's a good, it's a good for topwater fish. We hope so. We try to catch the big one. Now we fish here on a big wheat field. It's five meter deep here and the bass are in the reed and look up to the surface and go up and hunting. Now we hope we catch one. Well guys, fishing is 
super, super, super tough for us. It's crazy. Fishing can be hard, but today it's even worse than yesterday. And yesterday was pretty bad. So I think we're going to change completely the area of the lake. See if maybe in the other part there's a little bit more activity. We saw some fish chasing here, but they not biting our baits. They're just chasing for the Latarino. So I think it's time to change and time to find some fish. They want to bite. While Team Elex still have not found a sizable largemouth bass, Zasha and Sebastian, on the other hand, found something large to net. So if you see something like this in the water, do everybody a favor and pick it up and throw it in the trash. And this is where it belongs to, not in the water. Better one? I don't think so. Yeah, better one. Keeper. Or maybe not. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. 6 2. Here we go. Wonderful. Cool. No. Mm. No. I should make it this time. 0 0.55. <laughs> Crazy. We have to be happy for this. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm happy with this. We have to be happy with this, really. So, that's the first keeper. We put it in. Put it back quickly. Maybe he's going to jump for us. Yep, he's going to jump for us. Wow. Thanks for the show. Wow. <laughs> Finally. Oh, maybe it's just in the grass, but it looks like a better fish. It's out? Yeah, it's out. Okay. It's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a good fish. This is a fish. It's in the grass. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Go, man. Go, man. I mean, it's go, go, man. Yes. Go, man. Yes. Go, man. Oh, what a relief. Finally. Wow. Oh, wow! Awesome <laughs> That's beautiful! Oh man! 7-2. It's safe to say they deserved it. For Mark and Mattia, fishing was difficult for quite some time, but they are both far too good anglers to be baffled so easily. Things can change that quickly. Team Elex is back in the game and so is their confidence. Finally, I caught two keepers, a small one and a really nice fish, 1.7 kilo. And we are fishing quite far outside, offshore, on some on depths of like six, seven, eight meters. Yeah. yeah, six, seven, max eight meters. And there's some isolated grass patches. They are still here because a lot of grass has died in the lake. And there are some big isolated grass patches that almost went up all the way to the surface. And um, Mattia found them in practice and we just throw weightless worms on these grass patches. I think I had a bite, no? And that was bringing us uh, to two keeper. So there's some more grass, so we will move around over this grass and try to get... Uh, we just need three more, three nice fish more. If we get three fish around a kilo, I think we can make it to the semi-final. But it was tough and it's still tough. So we really need to work on it. But there's still some hours left, so it can happen. So we are onto our next area. We fished the whole area on the one side of the lake. Now we've come across to the other side of the lake. This is the area where we were yesterday evening where we caught our fish. 
it's also the area where we were yesterday morning where we didn't catch our fish <laughs> and where we where you went last year and where i came last year i've got a good feeling on yeah, this side it's very important to have some confidence and um yeah we went here yesterday couldn't catch anything i think a small one on yeah. top water yeah and then we moved out a little bit deeper and uh, we want to check out if there's some fish around we are basically sure there's fish around but the question is if they will bite now they didn't do yesterday it was around the same time so we wanted to give it a quick give it a check up and then maximum we go of half an hour for this whole area and then we're going to go into deeper water chris is fishing a wacky i'm fishing our techno vibe um oh, oh, oh. and chris has got a bite gone gone <laughs> But that's not the worst sign. Actually, there's a lot of fish on the fish finder here. Oh yeah. So, power hour is official over. Like yesterday for us, no fish. That can be a sign that we are on the wrong area. That can be a sign that the fish, of course, right now are not in the mood to eat. I don't know. The program was going another place actually, but there's a structure here that is always, not always, but is good because there's rocks. And sometimes in those rocks uh, over there, some really big fish lay down there. And sometimes they decide to go up and uh, take something. So we, we will just 10 cast around this, uh, structures these rocks and then we move in the other place i will use the swim bait 140 molex maybe some fish if nobody is is already fishing here this day maybe we have chance to catch something here yeah. that spot is really well known so it's something i will say like a community hole so that's the reason why it's always a problem that people are here but uh, we are quite early in the morning so i think there's a possibility that we are the first here and then we can maybe catch a big one so there are especially big fish here let's see after what lucas and paolo just said you almost expect something to happen and many of you have probably experienced it while fishing sometimes you just get a certain feeling that the next cast might result in something special. Yeah, fish, 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 fish. Wow, 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 super giant one. I'm pretty... Okay, man. That's a... If it's, not, if it's not a pike, it's a huge, huge, huge fish. Be ready, bro. Be ready. I think it's a bike. Yeah. It's a bike, right? Could be, could be, could be. No, I think it's a bass, bro. It's a bass. Yes, it's a super big bass. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Bombo bass! <laughs> Oh my god, man. there is the swim bait pig that we was talking about! <laughs> yes! Finally it pays off! Ugh. So, like I told you guys, the fish from yesterday with 800 gram is normally not the fish that you caught on a swim bait. <laughs> that setup is insane. The Molex Freddo Speciale swim bait, special made for swim bait, it's a super nice rod. And the Molex swim bait, the glide bait one, 78 in my favorite color like a ghost are you produce tanks like this man <laughs> bombo bus 2.37 <laughs> <laughs> guys what the heck that is the fish that we were talking about man wow and you know what after the ypc record was already broken twice in group a both times by Team Zek, Lucas raises the bar even higher with this 2.37 kilogram giant. Molex is pulling way ahead of the other teams and now have at least one foot in the semifinals. So let's send this mama back where she comes from. Oh, it's crazy. What a beautiful fish there. 
What a tank. Three point, sorry, 2.37. And he's the biggest for now, it's right? The biggest of the tournament so far, but we don't care. I think that fish kicked us into the next round. Let's upgrade one more over a kilo and then also I'm in my feeling I'm safe. Lurlock. Robuste Angelboxen, entwickelt von Turnieranglern, hergestellt in den USA, ausgestattet mit dem Gewissen extra. Eine neuartige Technologie, die dein Tackle an Ort und Stelle hält, bis du es benutzen möchtest. Köder, Gewichte und Haken haften zuverlässig in der Box, so gehören ausgekippte Kisten, Hakensalate und Kratzer auf deinen hochwertigen Hardbaits der Vergangenheit an. Das in den USA produzierte Tech Logic Gel ist geruchsneutral und pflegeleicht. Es haften keinerlei Rückstände am Köder. Lurlock, die Revolution in deiner Angeltasche. Ah, now I'm, you know, this feeling will be a super, 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 super. Ah, but we did the, the right decision to stop a little on the stone. And what I told you guys before, few fish, Really big, and uh, it's difficult, but the swim bait at the end, <laughs> boom! I think we upgrade a 06 with two kilos. Yeah, so we have we're 14, <laughs> 13, 14. <laughs> <laughs> boom! <laughs> oh, it's insane. Bass fishing is <laughs> the best in the world. I love it. While Paolo and Lucas can breathe a little, for the other teams there is still no relaxation in sight. It's a good one. It's a good one. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We have time. Yes, yes. Come on. We'll go down. Slowly. Yes! Yes! Niklas! Wow. <laughs> Top! Woo! It's a good the, one! Woo! This Ooh. is the fish. This is the fish. Wow! Oh. 1.59. Good fish. Super fish. Now we release. Bay Ein sleeps to third place, still without catching any topwater bass. At some point, they should think about changing that. Frank does not seem too hasty, though. At least he always finds the time to talk a little, either about boats or the weather. What is the plan? Top water. Top water? Yeah. Uh, ten, in, 10 minutes we fish here and then we go for top water. Okay. This boat had the biggest storage in this class. Yeah. You see, it's very nice. It's a bait fish here in the lake. It's a natural for spinning. Aber we try to catch with here. <coughs> Super natural for the sunshine for my, my head. <laughs> When you catch no fish, it's a redhead. Puff oh, attack. Fish on! Bigger one. Stay, stay down. Water, man. 
Stay down, stay down. First cast. Cool, 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 cool. Stay down. Stay down. Don't come up. Don't come up. Whoa! You ready? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, net it. Yes! Whoa. Free egg. Large one. You are the man, you are the man. I love this rod, I love this rod, I love this rod. And this lure. <laughs> lure, lure. <laughs> you take the French accent. <laughs> the lure. Whoa. 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 1.6 my 1. friend. 1.6 my friend. <laughs> Free egg again, uh -huh, my friend of Germany. <laughs> These two really blend well together. After having witnessed quite some cultural exchange on Team Hardy Rise's boat, we now got to see them net their first big fish of the day. The slow morning really didn't foreshadow that the day would produce some lunkers. Christopher's bass, however, was the fourth in a row to weigh well over a kilo. Can this series go even further? Uh, our plan is to fish with uh, spinning, with very fine, very thin spinning, 0.8 grams, very, very slowly. One people fished with top water and when spinning it's not too good. We think we the spoked, spoked um, top water fish, it's no good for the big ones. In this moment, yeah, we fish here for yeah. one or two hours, and, and we hope we change the small fish yeah. into a big one. We have, I think, four or five fish in the cart with 700 grams or 800 grams, and it's it was really good when we catch uh, with 1.5 or 1.6. Yeah, good one, good. Come on, baby. Come on, slowly, slowly. We have time. Yes. It's a big one. It's a big one. Only together. Very nice. Cash on, cash on, cash on. Oh, Mr. Hast du noch? Oh. Die Sehne ist abgehauen. Yes! Huh, huh, huh. <lacht> Ey! Max, <lacht> gut. Ey! This is it. End the hook. Das ist ein guter Mann. Bob, it's Ooh. out. What a lucky. Ooh, you see? <laughs> it's a net. Ooh, it's a four lips lines. Very, very thin. 1.77. Best man. Best man. This is a guy. 22 years old or young. It's a very, what's that man? Explosive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Frankie. Yeah, the net man is in the house. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Not too big. It's okay, it's okay. It's a good one. Yeah. Wait, moment, no, no, no. Yes! Woo! <laughs> the net man! Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, it's okay. Oh. The bait is out. No? Oh, it's yeah. not. It's okay. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Woo -hoo. One point, one two. It's okay. Ah, oh, it's my first fish today. So very happy. <laughs> nice one. Don't look. The happy Frankie. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Keep them coming. 
With back-to-back -back catches, Niklas and Frank reclaim the third spot and now really have a solid board. If it wasn't for the two empty topwater spots. But we already noticed that Frank and Niklas don't lose their comms so quickly. Ok, we've seen quite a few catches. Will that be it for the first half of day 2? Or can another team score at the last minute? Talk to me. What should I say? Is it a biggie? No, it's just a bass in the weeds. It's a small bass. Ok. Small bass in the weeds. I don't think that it is that small. You just... Sorry. You got him? Yeah, I got him. But, yeah. but it, it could be enough. Let's see, 530. So, we got our first keeper for today on the drop shot. Beautiful fish. So, we're getting somewhere. We need two more fish and uh, then we got our full call and we were able to go for the bigger ones to upgrade. Yes, sir. Second one, again, on that chunky worm. I mean, they are not big ones, but these really do have out because if you are not able to fill the card, you don't have a chance at all. Oh. 0.52. Half of our time is gone. Oh. Yeah, we managed to catch two keepers. We need one more and then we use the other half of the day to uh, upgrade our, our small fish. Let's continue and uh, catch some fish. All right, guys, that's halftime. The two small keepers Sebastian and Sasha just caught make Team Savage Gear the only team that could not get a scorable bass in the first four fishing hours of day two. While Molex can take things a little more easy and start developing a strategy for the semifinals, none of the other teams can lean back at this point. For now, it's LMAB. Bay Eintz and Hardy Rise who occupy the qualifying spots, but the last word in Group B is far from spoken. If you want to know if Elex, Stroft and not least Savage Gear can turn the tide after all, then tune in next Sunday at 6pm. Ciao!